everyone, Pug Owned again, and I'm back this week with the Chow Chow. I based him on a really good friend's Chow that was named DJ. I'd love to hear what you think and don't forget to subscribe. It would really help me out. Thank you. So some Chow Chow facts. The Chow Chow is perhaps the most ancient of the Chinese breed of dogs. The breed can be traced back for thousands of years and it is often questioned whether the Chow Chow was developed from Spitz type dogs or whether Spitz type dogs developed from the Chow Chow. The Chow was a dog of many hats right from the start. These dogs have been known as sled pullers, hunters and livestock guardians. The name Chow Chow comes from Pigeon English term used to describe anything coming from the East in the 18th century. The catch-all phrase was meant to describe various knickknacks like dolls, porcelain and other curios. And despite being living creatures, the dogs were roped in with all of the other baubles. As a result, the Chow Chow inherited the name from merchants who could not be bothered to properly mark what they were shipping. The Chow reached the Western world in the late 1800s and began its rise to popularity. Most dogs sport only 42 teeth, but the Chow has an extra two, so has 44 teeth. As puppies, the dogs have a standard pink tongue, but with age, their tongues turn much darker. Full-grown chows have blue-black tongues that look almost lizard-like. And the only other dog breed to sport this unique feature is the Chinese Sharpe. Their coats can either be smooth or rough and come in five colors, black, blue, cinnamon, cream and red. The chow has earned itself a bit of a bad rap for being kind of a jerk. Typically the chow is a one person dog that bonds to one owner and scorns the rest. And I can attest to that. I lived in central London for three years and I looked after a friend's chow, DJ of course, and my friend would go away and I'd look after DJ and I would spoil him rotten. I would buy him dry age, 38 day hung Scotch fillet beef and DJ just treated me like I did not exist. Of course he ate the beef, but just had no interest. And I couldn't walk him because he used to get a cut that made him look like a living teddy bear and we couldn't go five steps without people taking photos of him. It was non-stop. And in the end, I just used to ignore people because I'd be stopping and I could never get anywhere. Just a wonderful, wonderful dog. And yeah, I miss DJ very much. I really do. But with all breeds, if you know the right upbringing, training and socialization, the chow can be the perfect furry companion for anybody. And there's your chow facts. So what I did was, as I always do, I stripped him back and I spent a lot of time on this one because I really, really wanted to show that beautiful double coat and just the fluffy fullness of them. So I had to really learn some new techniques and I skipped out showing the face because I show the face all the time and sort of tried to convey how I did the coat. I hope it came across. He looks amazing in game. You can see at the beginning and again at the end, I've got more clips of him. And I love him. I love how he turned out. I gave him the traits of independent, smart and hairy because you've got to groom them quite often because of this double coat thickness. And here he is coming up all finished and he's just adorable. He really, really is. He is my latest one that I'm playing with. So I really like him. So I will hop out here and I will be back with my project is the next one. I ran into some technical difficulties, sorted all of that out 
and I'm beginning filming now. So I will see you again very soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.